Okay, keeps going. We're live. We're live. <laughs> What you say. All right, welcome to Man Night Monthly. Tonight we're having rotisserie chicken with uh, garlic. Garlic, so garlic, rotisserie chicken, actually. We're having shoestring french fries. We're having uh, coleslaw. And we're going to top it off with some wonderful homemade biscuits, uh, Man, Man Night Monthly style, with uh, bacon and cheese. All right. So that would be a good meal. We're going to start out real quick by, uh, and not only that, but we're going to have lots of participation tonight. We're going to start off by uh, taking these chickens and tossing these babies in the oven. Now, you might want to recognize that these are not hooked up on a rotisserie uh, spear uh, because it's March and uh, we should have some decent weather, but instead it's been snowing. Weird. So, um, so what we're going to do, so it still meets the definition of rotisserie, is uh, meaning that it's turning around as it's cooking, is we're going to reach in the oven occasionally, and we're going to turn the pan around. <laughs> there you go. And that, uh, that will meet the definition of being flexible and having rotisserie chicken. Yes. So we're going to start out by uh, taking these chickens, and uh, we feel good about these chickens. They wanted almost 10 bucks a piece for these things in the store. We felt like we were being robbed. But we were able to get them for 5 bucks a piece. So we feel good about that. All right, now normally a couple, a couple ways you can do this. When you prepare your chicken, there's a couple ways you can do this. But basically the way that we're going to do it tonight is we got them in the pan here, we take them out of the wrapping, we've cleaned all this stuff out. Now, uh, a lot of times when you buy a chicken or a turkey, you're going to find your giblets and things like that stuffed underneath this lip. So you can just uh, lift this lip up and reach up under there, and normally you're going to find a package that holds like your giblets and livers and the heart and stuff like that. Um, they were, uh, I don't know, trying to save money, I guess, but they just uh, they just stuffed it all inside the chicken. So what you do is you do a little surgery and you just take the old hand and uh, and reach up in there and grab hold of those things that are uh, stuffed up in there and, and to make sure that you got everything out of there and that you haven't got anything hiding. Now, you know, not tonight, of course, because that's not what we're preparing, but uh, there are many people that like to prepare, for example, their dressing uh, when they're preparing either turkey and or chickens and uh, stuff the, the dressing up into the cavity here and let it all cook together. We're not going to do that tonight. Um, but instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a, a coating on the top of these and throw some seasoning on there, put some aluminum foil over the top, and toss them in the oven so they get cooking. Normally, you want to cook a bird like this for somewhere uh, around uh, 350 uh, at about an hour and a half. Normally, you want to cook a bird like this for somewhere uh, around... Uh, Echo! Real quick here. <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple of different. Okay, so there's a couple of different uh, deals that you can do to uh, put on the top here. You can make your own sauce, whatever. I'm just going to take some oil, basically. You could use um, uh, if you were. Uh, not uh, too worried about it. You could take uh, virgin olive oil. It's got a good flavor to it. Of course, what we have is not virgin olive oil. What we have is pure canola oil um, because we're cheap. And that, that works. It's okay because after all, we just want to give it a nice little glaze and we want something for the salt and the pepper to stick to. So you smooth that, uh, smooth that baby over. And then you just take your salt, and you put a pinch of salt on there. Just kind of sprinkle that over there like that. And then you take some pepper, and you sprinkle some pepper over there. 
Does it actually like season through the skin, or does it just kind of make the skin taste like something? Well, it makes the skin taste wonderful. Um, and then we're going to take some garlic salt, and this is salt that uh, has little portions of garlic in it. It tastes wonderful. And because this is uh, called, uh, because this is a garlic chicken, um, that's why we're using garlic salt. So you're not putting actual garlic in there? <laughs> well, it has. It has little pieces of garlic in here. Oh, my. See, this is the thing. It's salt mixed with uh, mixed with garlic. See, it says right on here, salt, garlic. Yeah, see? Okay. Oh, salt, garlic. Okay. So, you got your garlic salt, and you got that all on there. Now, what you want to do is you want to take just a little bit of water, not a lot, And put it in the bottom of the pan, so that it uh, so that it stays moist. And then what we want to do is we just want to cover it with some aluminum foil. And later, as it uh, gets about a half hour away from being done, we'll just take the foil off, so it'll brown up nice. But right now, our purpose is we want to put a tent over it so that that uh, moisture will be trapped in there and that will help to cook that. So you just take that, slide it in the oven, and we'll let that start cooking while we start working on some of the other things. Okay. And right now I've got the oven at 400 degrees. Later I'll check it and we'll turn the oven down. Now what we want to do is we want to begin preparing some of the other things that are necessary for our meal. And so we're going to prepare several things at once uh, while we're doing that. So John is going to be uh, working on the uh, shoestring fries and uh, preparing those and getting those ready. While John is doing that, I'm going to show you how to prepare coleslaw. And then after we prepare the coleslaw, then Lucas is going to show you how to make a uh, fantastic homemade uh, man-style buttermilk biscuits. <coughs> and what we can do in order to get that process started is let's grab a pan and let's fry up some bacon so that we can so that we can uh, crumble up the bacon into our biscuit. So you want to fry up the bacon and get it good and crispy. So we'll have somebody start working on frying up the, the bacon. In the meantime, yeah, that's perfect. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, addressing our coleslaw here. Now, there's a lot of different ways to make coleslaw. A lot of people have their own special recipes and what have you in regard to coleslaw. Am I being special right now? Um, why don't you do it on one of these? It's up in your grill? No, it's okay. Just let them back there in front. Whatever, I'll just move out of the way. We'll work together on this. Teamwork. There you go. Okay, so what we have here for our coleslaw is a couple of very basic ingredients. First of all, we have our onion. So, a lot of people don't put onion in their coleslaw, but if you finely chop your onion and put a little onion in your coleslaw, it gives it that extra ump when you, when you taste it. And you'll just be able to catch a little bit of that extra flavor there. Um, but coleslaw is very basic. Coleslaw is cabbage. So here we have green cabbage. And we have some red cabbage for color. And then we have carrots. So all of these have to be prepared. So what a lot of people do, you can do it one or two ways. You can either do it to prepare it by hand, or you can use a food processor. Personally, I like to do it by hand. There's just something about grabbing hold of that food and working it with your hands 
uh, makes you feel nice and earthy and uh, reminds you that uh, you were put on this earth to dominate. So what you want to do is you want to first of all start out by... Um, John, do we have a... I need a pretty good sized bowl. The biggest bowl you can find. Um, what you want to do is you want to um, take the coleslaw and you want to peel off the, uh, the outer layers of the cabbage here. Now, cabbage is a wonderful, uh, I think, yeah, that works great. Cabbage is a wonderful uh, vegetable, and, uh, you know, uh, being Irish, I'm partial to it. Uh, yesterday we had, uh, we had corned beef and cabbage and taters. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm just telling you, it was, it was wonderful. It was just like old school. I love that meal. Like back home. My favorite meal of the year. That's right. Like back in the aisle. Now, the trick. Let me grab a knife here in just a second. Right the trick to cutting cabbage is that uh, first of all you want to take that stuff off of there and you want to open it up and cut it and you want to cut it back in quarters, like so. And then what you want to do is you want to slice out the core here. Now, you know, back home, um, the core is good eats. You can eat this, like, you know, right off of the off the deal here. All right, good for you. It's healthy, my vitamins, got a little bit of a flavor to it. Check for it. No thanks. Now cabbage is a wonderful meal for for uh, for a supplemental. You know you don't if you're not making coleslaw you can uh, take and fry cabbage. You know, fried cabbage with bacon and onions, excellent meal. Okay. So we're gonna take we're gonna cut this cabbage off to the side. Red cabbage is for all intents and purposes. The same thing as green cabbage. Cabbage is cabbage, but it's red. So it adds a little bit of color to what it is that you're cooking. So you can do the same thing with a, a red cabbage and just peel it to get all the leafy stuff off. And then you want to open it up. And what you want to remember, it may not be that important because after all we are men, but a lot of times there's an old saying in cooking that people eat with their eyes. So you want to grab on to that for a moment. Because it can be the best taste in food that you want, but if it looks like slop, then people are not going to be impressed with it. So you want to think when you're cooking, you want to think about what type of presentation you're going to do so that it'll, be, uh, it'll look good too. And so that's why you go through the trouble of, of, uh, of using uh, little tricks like this. And see, what's going to happen is, is we're going to have the, uh, the green cabbage. Now notice the difference between the cabbages. See, the green cabbage is kind of light and separated, but the, the red cabbage is tight together. So the, uh, the consistency is a little bit different between the two of them. And so it, it adds to the variety. And then once you throw in the, the carrot into that, well, you've got quite a mixture of color there that is just very appealing to the eye. In the meantime, Paul is frying up that bacon and doing a wonderful job. So you want to fry it so it's really, really crispy. All right. 
Yeah, you want to fry it so it's really, really crispy. All Cause, right. Because what happens is, is the column we're going to take and we're going to we're going to pick that crispiness and we're going to make it into bacon bits. I'll make them crispy. All right. Not a big fan of crispy bacon, but I understand. Yeah. These bacon's are like a million times different than the bacon that we cook on our ID retreat. <laughs> I don't know if it's because this is like actually quality bacon or something. Okay, so here's the trick. Now for coleslaw, what you want to do is you want to just thinly cut. And this is kind of time consuming and that's fine. Some people like to use a food processor, a food processor or they like to use a kind of a shredder, and yeah. that's okay. But the trick here is what you want to do is you just want to really lightly cut along the edges and do what's called shredding here, where you just want to shred this coleslaw. So you want it to be as fine as possible. You see it's pretty fine right there. And some people are, some people are lazy. And so they'll take, and when they make their coleslaw, they'll make really big cuts. Um, but as much as possible, you want to cut it so it's real thin. So that your coleslaw can be kind of bite-sized. And you'll see here that then what you're going to do is you're going to take, and you're just going to cut across it in order to make it, in order to make it uh, thin. Because there's nothing worse than a than thick cut coleslaw. Now a lot of a lot of restaurants, what they'll do is they'll run this through a grinder, like I said, or a food processor. Um, like for example, if you go to KFC, mm -hmm. KFC has wonderful coleslaw, but they're running it through a food processor, and so it's chopped up real fine. And the reason it's chopped up real fine like that is because it's when you're doing it in bulk, it's a lot quicker to do it that way. So in order to mix this up, what you want to do is you want to do you know, a little bit of green first, then a little bit of red, then a little bit of green, a little bit of red. Oh, you know what we didn't... Oh, shoot. You know what we didn't get done? That's why not We didn't get mainly. What? Mayo? Yeah. 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 The great thing about coleslaw, coleslaw is a good way to uh, have a have a, something extra for your meal, but also um, it, it's quick and it's easy. Mm 
This is much more difficult than a little camera. Some people like tons of mayonnaise. I personally prefer no mayonnaise in this world at all. Did you see that? That, that is truly professional <laughs> catch right there. You did an excellent job. Nope. Burn me. Okay, so basically we've got uh, we've got green and red cabbage all caught up, cut up in our bowl here. Now what we want to do is we want to add some color, and so we're going to put some orange in there. Now, there's a couple different things here you can do. Um, we'll do it the, the man way. We're just going to wash these off real quick, and then we're going to grate them. Now, a lot of times people like to like to uh, peel their carrot before they uh, add it into what they're adding. But if you wash them, um, then you still got the skins left on there, and it's very nutritious. And so you want to go ahead and you want to leave the skins on there. I think it's a stronger argument for uh, less work. <laughs> My personal opinion. More nutritious. Sometimes. Colin says that if you're just outrageously lazy, <laughs> then it's okay too, and that's a good excuse as well. Or in a hurry. Better than this nutritious <laughs> nutrition heresy. Um, yeah, leave that for the oh. Yeah. Uh, no, a uh, greater. Down here, maybe? Alright, ready for us to blow up again? Try good. Here. Cheese grater? Yeah, cheese grater. That was a cheese grater. That was oh, yeah, not cheese grater. Parmesan cheese grater. You want the bottom to do it or not? Um, So basically speaking, we're just going to take the food, we're going to wash, and we're going to graze those babies. And the only issue that you need to be careful of when grading is to make sure that you don't grade it so much that you grade your fingers off. I'll break my word here ever when grading the food. I hate it when you catch a fingernail on it, it's like when you thing that we want to do, so is we want to take this onion, and we want to put a little bit of onion in here. No. Do you want them? Probably more would be better. So, uh, how much more are we talking about? Right now, well, I think you know, the Delaware with chicken entrails. No, small deal. Oh, yes. cool. no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can get the. Yeah. 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 Give yeah. 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 it a shot. If I cook but, it, uh, you get it. Students specifically, man. Not, yeah, yeah. not, getting not miracle effort. Yeah. No, so, these be men. I know the difference. No, I'm going to sold him. <laughs> Miracle 
you know what? For certain things, Miracle Whip is great. But, like, not for this. Whip fights. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of onion. And uh, what you want to do is you want to slice it real fine, like what I've showed you before how to do. So in half, and then so that these will fall apart, what you do is then you just go ahead and you slice them real thin. And when you slice them real thin, you notice that they're not... You, they're not going to jump out and bite at you. They're just very, very thin. But what they'll do is they'll give that uh, extra kick that you want to get. Are you crying yet? Oh. Is he sick? Enough bacon in the air to counteract it. I'm a real man. I don't cry. Mm -hmm. That was a crisp bacon. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to take those onions that we sliced up. We're going to put them babies inside of here. Now what we want to do is we want to mix this together. Saran wrap the top. No shame it. And we'll just take a spoon and mix this stuff up. So that you get a so that you get a thorough mix as far as uh, getting all the veggies mixed together. And yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not that well on the camera. But look at all these different colors together. That is just artistry right there. It's so beautiful. That's amazing. That's uh, that's artistry right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to top, we're going to finish off in just a little bit our coleslaw by uh, putting the necessary ingredients uh, in here. And basically, we're just going to add some salt and pepper, and we're going to add some mayonnaise, some sugar, and a little bit of uh, a little bit of vinegar to give it that extra twang. And uh, and then the coleslaw will be ready. And we're going to we're going to get some mayonnaise because we I don't think we have enough mayonnaise. So did Steve? Yeah. Steven is is getting some mayonnaise. Was he able to bring it for us though? Yes. Okay. John, you got this heating up for any other prize? Okay. 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 Ah. Can I make bacon gravy for anything? Does that work? Bacon gravy chicken? Well, you know, probably bacon gravy would go wonderful with those uh, buttermilk biscuits. That's for a, that's for another time. All right. So in the meantime, John is going to start working on the uh, fries as they get ready. And what I'm going to do? So would it be more efficient to maybe use biscuits first? The fries are crispy. Fries probably very long to make, but you bought. That's true. That's a wonderful suggestion. Simultaneous. Um, yeah, if we have to coordinate things, we can do that because the biscuits need to be prepared and they need to set for just a moment. The dough needs to set for just a moment when you roll them up. 
So, Lucas, you want to take over and show us how to do uh, how to do this? Yes, big ball. Hey, Paul. thing is a really vain effort to to degrease the bacon. Well, you only get like one side and seriously how much grease do you think you get off one side? Like, well because you put a towel on the top of it. And, and yeah, how many people do that? I do. I do. Well, okay, you guys are anal. I do too when I cook bacon. I've never seen anyone do that. I've only ever seen people do That's that. Weird. Right. Alright, well, I guess I'm a retard. <laughs> well said, well said. Okay, let's move this out of your way. Put this over here. Let's move this out of your way. Put this here. So we're going to make now, we'll start making our uh, southern style cheesy bacon, bacon cheesy biscuits. So we're going to start with uh, four cups of flour because we're making two batches. Hopefully give us about 20 biscuits. Oh yeah. is getting this flour out here, notice I'm going to open the oven here and turn this chicken around so that we have a true rotisserie chicken. Here. True, but not, yeah. It's like stretching every morning and well, calling yourself a gymnast. As true as it's going to get. <laughs> as true as it's going to get. How's that? <laughs> it's actually like, I need to cut that out. The exactly, four shuttles. Huh? It needs to be, uh, yeah, it needs Brown. to be, uh, yeah. yeah. Scrunch up in the little deal. Alright, let me okay, search for a tool. We need uh, the baking powder and baking soda. Um, over there. It crashed. And the soda, I think he said, was in the cupboard. Oh. Alright, we, uh, I don't really never made biscuits before, so I'm going to pull my recipe here. And uh, let's see here. We're going to use uh, use uh, two tablespoons. Double check here. Yes, two tablespoons of uh, baking powder here. And then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Hey, John. Just like, well, I mean, like, John? Baking soda. Baking John. soda. <coughs> oh. Or whatever than for actual. I understand that I can just pick up lots of bacon. Well, right now, that, <laughs> this is how you do it. Okay, so we've got our baking soda, baking That's powder, flour. Well, so we are now going to add 12 now this. tablespoons of butter. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. 
This is the reason why I have a reputation for innovation. Physical things. It's because I subscribe, subscribe, but okay. Full partner in this here. I'm just holding my face, so alright. Alright, here we go. So we got uh, eight tablespoons in here right now. We're gonna grab another half a stick. Butter makes everything better. Butter makes it all better. Yep. Along with bacon. And sometimes cheese. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know. I'm just saying. No, I know you know. Oh, yeah, good job. That's perfect. Thank I you. wish I could drink half and half, honestly, instead of milk. <laughs> what? Salt, John? Yeah, salt. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So we're going to add about uh, two teaspoons or so of salt. My dad uses half and half in his cereal for milk. A lot of people, a lot of people do. But oh, that's too much. Oh, that's too much. Awesome. <laughs> no. That's, that's why I got milk roll. <laughs> and uh, we're calling these southern biscuits cause, uh, or buttermilk because we're using buttermilk and if you've ever been in the south they put the stuff in everything have you been in the south? I have the deep south the, the deep, deep south have you ever been to the south? I've been to the south that's from just friends we're going down with Emma or is that a Mississippi friends there it is little lucky all right, so we want to mix all this together. Uh, ideally, we should have, you know, a nice big mixer, a KitchenAid one or something. But we don't have that, so... Uh, Just use your hands. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Hands. Feet. You, you might just mix it. it. That's, yeah. Oh, we're going to try this. It might not be. This could be messy. Uh-oh. Is there any other plug around here on this island? No, no, no. There's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there. That's killing me. I'm gonna get 20 years old. Alright. Is that a plug me in? Yeah. 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 Alright, so we're going to just mix this, mix this up until we have a nice consistency. Really until everything's mixed. We don't want to over mix it. And this is not working. So we're going to mix by hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you were holding <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know you were moving. <laughs> Trying to get a Gears of War view right here. Now <laughs> what you gotta oh, do is you gotta pick it apart yeah. real good, like... Yeah! There's, there's something... Yeah! <laughs> are, we, are we moving? I'm gonna be back over here. Quality wow. That doesn't look quite I'm going to mix it by hand. This piece is way too big. Thank you, Steve. Steve, you're going to have to come back. You go back the other way. No, because then you're going to be going around the hole. <laughs> makes no sense. It's, no, I'm not. Okay, so the mixer was an epic failure, so we're going to just do this the old-fashioned way. And just mix this by hand. Oh, 
long time. Like, 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 Oh, I hope you watch your command. I hope that's in the butter in this thing. Absolutely, that's part of it. My hands are all oily, let me get in there. I can't, uh... Butter's remaining completely solid. Mm -hmm. We should have melted it. Gotta run into it. Breathe on it, everybody. Melt that. Somebody sit on the ball for like an hour and incubate it. <laughs> Good call. What's that supposed to be for? Biscuits. Oh, okay. Oh, we're making biscuits by... Biscuits. Real ones, not real ones. Biscuits. Oh, no. Legit. Yeah, we gotta microwave this for a minute. For... No. Legit. How about for 10 seconds? Totally good. Should we like 15? 15. Just hope not. Don't microwave that. Pull the butter out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Butter's pretty much everything in there. I don't understand the go-go part of that song. Yeah, none of it really makes sense. Now, hey, everybody, that go-go part, that is straight doctrine. What's that? That hands-free song? Well, I get it. Go-go part? I don't really do children's songs. Wow. Better than singing that. Now, sometimes things don't work out the way you plan, as we see. That's Lucas. right. Lucas is demonstrating for you here. Now, you know, a woman would get all frazzled about this. But a man is inventive. That's right. And so we're going to take this butter out of here, which is a little bit too hard, and not mixing the way we want. And we're going to shoot that puppy in the microwave for a little bit and to soften it up. No reason to get frazzled. What is that word? Nine, fine. Look at that. Look at that. Fine. Yeah. So we're going to give it like 15, 20 seconds for microwave, soften it up, and we'll get these things pulled out. Probably not. Put some flour on it. Yeah, you need to stop being so negative. You gotta be in Okay, so we solved our uh, hardened butter problem through the microwave, so we're going to just mix this up here real quick. Yep. We can actually mix this now. Was it the bird or this carton chicken? Yeah. So now we've got at least enough of a consistency. Consistency. We're gonna add just a little more buttermilk in here. 
And we're going to take her back to the mix room. And, uh, you know, if you burn the motor up, it's a case master. <laughs> Is it not going? Yeah, I'm going to say it's going. It can only uh, power the water. Oh! <laughs> we actually have a good consistency now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to add some cheese and bacon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Crap. John, how am I on the floor? Because we this or what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we do this by hand? Yes, yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to just try and pull this in because we don't want to mix this go up more than we have. The thing about biscuit dough or scones or anything of that nature is that you want to me you want to handle the dough as little as possible in order for it to be fluffy and to come out the way you'd like it. So, Lucas has got this folded in, and then now he's going to lift it over and bring it over here and spread it out. Yeah, get that up in there. Mm. Come off him up in there. <laughs> All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to press this out, um, specifically kind of like the pastor was talking about, the less you handle it, the better. But if you roll it out, the glute in there activates, and you're going to have tough biscuits. We don't want tough biscuits. So we're going to just press this out. And the eventual goal here is to get this about an inch thick. I have no idea. <laughs> what do we do with this? Tip around. Maybe smaller than this. I don't know, we say that's about an inch. Uh, yeah, that's about an inch. Anything else you do? Nope, got him. Alright, so we don't have any uh, fancy biscuit cutter here. We're going to just use a glass and cut these out. Flour on it. Yeah, we need another cooking sheet. John, somebody can get. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, nice, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Particularly excited about these. <laughs> How many are we tonight? Three, two, five. Twelve, yeah. Twelve, thirteen if you can't, Jeremiah. 
Не лаки, не тоже не подожди. These are great. Professional. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just... Trying to show the world your art. So, Lucas, this is your maiden, like, virgin buttermilk biscuit voyage here? Yes, yes. Okay. I've so never fun. made from scratch. And you know what? If we're going to do it, we might as well just do it strong. Right. Do it strong. Yeah. Well, we'll spread thin it out just so we can get more of it, maybe. What? You want, you want two? Is that, is that I don't want one. <laughs> That'll be <laughs> enough for everybody. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. This is men night, not drama queen night. Right. I want a biscuit! I want a biscuit! I want a biscuit! I want a biscuit! Gosh, it looks great! It does. I'll eat them right now. The colors, you know? We're all about the colors. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that lately. The colors? Yeah. I'm telling you, the people live with their eyes, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. True. So it'll mean that we can't be ashamed to talk about it. As long as, uh, as, long as we don't The precision up. he's executing right now is... We don't give up. It's phenomenal. Really it's, I, would pay, uh, I would pay for this meal. See, I, I think there's, you know, there's time for everything no, for that. Just, like, like if you were to, uh, you know, cook like, these chickens, that just like, like, might as well have my name on it. Yeah. That's the time for tears. I, I want it. You have a point. I want to be on you. Do you, do you have more? Chicken sheets? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? No. I don't like the box. Can we just use the one you got right there? Yeah. Measuring bull crap going here. Like it. Where to put the measuring flat? <laughs> 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 it's a bra yum yum party. No. Maybe. I don't know. Bacon fries? What do you guys think? Bacon fry grease? You got biscuit burger. Easy. Whatever, what do you think? Put some bacon grease left over. I throw it in there. A little... No? No good? He's waving me off. Okay. What's the, what's the logic? Preference? You don't want to mix uh, the two different types of greases. You worried about you mean, fire? You mean oil or? Yeah, the two different types of oil. <sighs> I feel like we need to revolutionize French fries. What can we do? I know. Like what? Like, can we do, like, individual stuffed french fries, you know, like, like, you make, like, I don't know, like, mashed potatoes or something? It's like half potato for french fries. Well, I like it in potato, but I feel like I tried to choose a french fry. I mean, let's make it Well, it would be a thick french fry. It would be, like, the steak fries or whatever. All right, now we're just waiting for the, uh, the biscuits are looking good. How long do you think those take a trip? Biscuits? Like Bis 10, biscuits 10, 10 12 minutes? 12 minutes, roughly. Okay. Yeah. So we get the french fries cooking, the well, chicken, the I can get them done real quick. Yeah, and then we just need to order to finish up the full slot. You want me to start cooking the french fries now? What do you think? Should I wait? Until I get to an hour? Chicken's now. got a little ways to go. Chicken's with another yeah. 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Nice. Okay. So, 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 so,
Do you want to, uh, do the greasy sheets at all? No. Huh? Uh, no. That one you shouldn't have to do. This one I'm a little concerned about. Okay, now while, while, uh, while Lucas is finishing up with the biscuits, we're just going to let them sit and wait for a little bit. We're going to put together the finishing touches on the coleslaw. So, seasoning coleslaw is really a personal thing. So different people like it different ways. I'm just going to show you the way I generally do it and then you can kind of figure out what you like or don't like. But, uh, you know, you're always going to have the standards. So in this case, we're going to have uh, some, some salt. It's my salt on somewhere. Um, we're going to have some pepper. So we'll put some pepper in there. And I'd say, you know, just a little dash of pepper. We're going to have some salt we're going to put in there. And uh, I'd say just a little dash of salt. Um, we're going to put some uh, sugar. And uh, John. 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 Sugar, dude. Sugar. Okay. And uh, vinegar. Just sugar. Yeah, give me, give me some sugar. <laughs> and of course, as we generally do at man night, you need to carefully measure out the sugar. <laughs> watch and learn, son, watch and learn. Then you know, take a little bit of vinegar. Vinegar scares me, I'll be honest. And a little bit of vinegar. Now that vinegar is going to react with the sugar and all that stuff. This part scares me. I prefer not to block this part. And then you're going to take. <laughs> you're going to take some mayo here. And put yeah, some mayonnaise yeah. in there, except that spoon is like too big. Uh, I certainly hate the look of spoon. It's too big! What about uh, just a spoon? What is mayonnaise exactly? Eggs. Egg whites. And? Egg whites. Just egg whites. Pretty much. Pretty much. Egg whites and mayonnaise. Well, they use oil. Water. Lemon juice. Lemon juice? Yeah. I got the juice. Nice. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to just start mixing all this stuff together. And this is going to take a little bit of time because it's a small bowl, or it's the biggest we got. But we want to mix this all together and you're going to go all the way to the bottom, come all the way back out to the top. So you're going to mix everything in there. And the reason why I want to be careful about the amount of mayonnaise that you use, for example, is you want a lot. You don't want a lot, but you don't want too little either. Because what you want to do is you want to mix all these flavors together. So not only do you have the color, but you have the flavor. Flavor, flavor. I'm excited for this coleslaw. I like coleslaw. I'm interested to give her a shot. Oh! Whoa there, Parker. It's a lot. A little baked coleslaw later. What? A little baked coleslaw later. <laughs> I don't know. Put some bacon bits. How do you do coleslaw for your St. Patrick's, or uh, cabbage for your St. Patrick's Day dinner? Just cut it and put it in. Put it in. Put, put it in the, what you do is you, you cook the, uh, you cook the brisket in a uh, in a, a brine yeah. for about six or seven hours, 
And then when you cook your cabbage and your potatoes and stuff, you cook that inside of that brine. My mom does it, she puts it in like the, the cabbage in like a skillet and like fries it up essentially. Some people like fried. It's uh, so good. Yeah, I love fried cabbage, you bet. Yeah. So that's like, stuff. that's how I grew up having cabbage pretty much. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got this coleslaw and we've got this all mixed together. And you notice that it's uh, the mayonnaise is not too heavy. You don't want it too heavy. Now the thing is, is you can add what you want to the coleslaw. We, you could add, uh, some people like pineapple. Some people like uh, raisins inside of the coleslaw. So you can be kind of creative about it. Some people like bacon, although we've used all of our bacon. But some people like bacon inside their coleslaw too. Now the only way to be sure that you've got the taste that you want is to sample it. There's really no other way to try because you want all those flavors. I would say that's close to perfect. But, let's not take my word for it. Let's have a dinner tray. Want to try? I okay. Yeah. What do you think? Not bad? Yeah? Okay. So what we'll do now, yeah, and I, I, I'm happy with the flavor too. We'll blend this up just a little bit more, and then what we're going to do while we're waiting on those biscuits, which are just wonderful, is we're going to take and we're going to stick this in the refrigerator and let it uh, let it cool a little bit. The refrigerator, so the, so the cold flaw is, uh, is done. John, I see ants crawling all over your cupboards. He's having the same problem I am. Yeah. Damn with sugar ants or whatever they call them. Yeah. They're all over the place. There's uh, a yeah. stuff we got. We got a problem with a little tiny ant. And it's a little tiny, like, thing. And it has this gel or, like... I like the gel. I like the gel. I've never yeah. seen it since. Yeah. I don't even have that anymore. Oh, they come out every year. I mean, like, it's good tablets. They don't have those out. Behind the scenes, oh, man, man, monthly. Literally. Literally. Right. Right behind it. Yeah, it's like a syrup. Yeah. It's like a syrup. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to put it on top of the pan. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Who's a coal slot in the shed? I've had my share of coleslaw. I certainly wouldn't say I've got a suit. I've had my share of coleslaw. My mission in life. Yeah, I don't understand that. I prefer to enjoy the glory of the meal in its entirety. Do Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Prednisone, I'll get some Prednisone. Got a good mixture of flavors. Yeah, I like it. Kind of on the salty side, but not too salty quite. Not, not too salty. What kind of bites you right at the end? Like, it's, it's a mushy. It's got a tart finish to it. I like that. Vinegar, I'm telling you what would be good is Rose made some scones yesterday and took some raisins and clean? soaked them for about um, the two hours in the sun. Throw it in like uh, in the strainer there. You see the some of those rum raisins inside of that coleslaw would be really good. Rum raisins. I don't like, I don't like throwing raisins in coleslaw. Yeah. I don't get with that. Sounds. Rum has a great flavor. I've never had it. Rum. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Depends. There's some fucking disgusting dark rum. I guess. From what? Say about seven, you could start working on that. Is that yours?
Or do they, or do they get a discount or something? We get a discount, but uh, we can also do it for free if we do it. Okay. Just pull it in the back. Empty bay, like one o'clock is the. Yep. Cool. You have to change that. You have to pay for your. Uh, your adventure, man. Takes like eight quarts of oil. Like, uh, the car. See if I get you three movies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a V8, it's a five point liter. He's got a five point liter. Five point liter. It's actually going to be a lot of fun. I just worked on a Ford, uh, his, his car today. I just worked on it today. I don't know how much it takes. Okay, well, I, I'm telling you what I did today. I like that model. Yeah. It's a big motor, man. I don't even want to argue about this. No point. My V10 takes eight ports. Yeah. Yeah. Got a V8. Chevy 454. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 454. The, uh, the Chevy Workhorse 454. Yeah. Good engine. I think that's actually what our piece of crap motor on had. Um, it's pretty standard. Yeah, the 80s one. Yeah. Back in those days, they didn't, uh, they just ran a regular distributor. And this has got like a 10 second delay. I don't know. Back in those days, they, like I said, they ran a, uh, a, a regular distributor. And what I did was run a distributor to each to each plug, or ran a uh, the ignition coil, so that was to each plug. Yeah. And by by uh, putting separate ignition coils to each plug, it uh, wowed up the power tremendously. Hmm. Now in the newer ones, they do that. Also, uh, put in. Put in a higher, uh, higher voltage ignition That's a much But a higher voltage special ignition Going. I think so. I think we're just about, uh, we're getting there. By the time you get all those fried up, we'll slide those biscuits in and be ready to go. Oh! I'm excited.
very excited to come to the rub. But it's not just a freaking out. I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going to
Germany, you get pulled over drunk, you lose your life. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That, that is nice, awesome. Right? You want to talk about yeah. incentive right there. Are we filming yeah. is the same video so the one video is stopped? I am not the one who was no, running the video. Are we filming? Yeah. 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 Are we filming? How's it looking, Johnny? Yeah. Looking real good. Looking yeah, real good. Camera down below. Camera for computers. Salt sugar on here somewhere? Um, no, 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 no,
We didn't fuck them. We just started to make them out. We were surprising to think about it. Even the Out, close the lid for like a minute. Uh, mm-hmm. It gets a chance to get up to temperature. 
Right. <laughs> right, but it's not. It's uh, hot in but it's so you can cook it. Oh, because because I just threw another batch in there that it's not. Cooked. Right, and then it's so it's still not. Then we take it out and put another full batch in. It's getting cooler. Right. You can do it as long as you want. Right. It's not. It seems really should go. Is that part of the show? They like break out. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. This is so gross. I know. Get you some of that gel. <laughs> What's this gel? Yeah, it's. Oh, yeah. Do you know the name of it? I'll have to ask Diana. When you, when you go over it, it's like a syrup. You know, it's like real green. sticky. Yeah. And if you have pets, you want to get away from it. I'm going 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 to get away from it's annoying, but there's really not much you can do about yeah. it. Except I was going to give her one of those, but then I asked Josh if we thought about it. He's like, they're stupid. And I was like, okay, whatever. Oh, so you are here. Okay, I should put some headlights on. Well, that's a good aspect of this, but what we're doing is we're going to do a machine on something that actually has to be. She, she basically Yeah. 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 <laughs> First round of experiment. I like the idea of making cheese. Making cheese. They taste really good. How many, uh, how many guys you got here? Uh, not sure. Do I like them? Yeah, they got a good flavor now, though. I agree. How many do we got? I don't know. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How? Seven, eight, nine, ten. How? One point out of Yeah. Really? 
Can we, like, get the movie going or something? No, we're at 7.30. We haven't even started the movie yet. Well, we're getting ready to set. Yeah, I mean, the movie will set it up. Usually we do, right? Like, start the movie units. Yeah, well, we started out a little bit late, so, you know. Let's get the movie going. Michael Fultz. It's ready to go. It sucks about zero, uh, the 4.0 here takes 5.4. Yeah, I couldn't find the 5.0. It's uh, 6. So, if you're wondering what I said, Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put the on the 5.0. Yo! How can you keep calling it 4.0 with 5.0? Sorry, I'm going to put the box on the 5.0. Yeah. 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 You guys, yeah. uh, did you want, like, you what do you think, John, do you want to open it? Because you want me to well, take the stuff off of here and put it in the pan? Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well. Cut off as they want. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's probably those ones that, you know, we'll move the line a lot faster. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, something, maybe. But, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, 530, 540. That's what I'm saying, 30. All right, now, we've got... Noodling down the French fries, a bunch of man. I'm not knowing. There's so many questions we have to know. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Is that all we need? Huh? Is that all we're gonna make? No, this is the stuff right here. Okay. I just don't understand the process. Cause aren't there no fries in there right now? Yeah, I'm waiting for this to get back up to temperature. Oh. Gotta have it stay at temperature. How do you tell? The light comes on? Or something? Yeah, the light will go off. Just like that. Oh. Cool. So it's off? Yeah. Oh. Sweetness. What? Why? Like not accepting the verdict? Yeah, we had a couple more minutes to take this Chicken? Bummer! But okay. I'll probably get you. That looks nice. Yep, a couple more minutes. Wow, this is pressurized. That's really pressurized. I can't even open the top. <laughs> 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 
They were not going to make me have that. Thing about these, did you say? Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little bit, uh, a little bit to go on uh, the chicken yet. Yeah. yeah. A little paint on the inside. But I've got the convection going. What did that do? You know, they are around. Okay. Did you want a French fry? I think I'm going 
Something. Like Look at Look at Sammy. Yeah. Oh. 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 Did you eat JJ's French fry? Yeah. Yeah, he's had a couple. We're gonna, let's hold off until we get done. Why'd you eat JJ's French fry? What? Did you not give it to him? I asked him if he ate JJ's French fry and he was like, yeah. Let me go out JJ's. Did you get a French fry? All right, all right. <laughs> no, you can't have more. No Dad. No more. Daddy said no more. Say that uh, about five minutes. drinking a soda, you probably had rat poop. John, this looks just like rat poop. You might as well take it. Is that part of the chicken? Hmm? Is that part of the chicken that's like not good enough? Or? No, that's... Can you open this one for the rest of it? Yeah. Good. Those look fantastic. Stop, but this is for John. No, no, it's 
Uh, no, it's actually to like hold plates and stuff in place. Usually it's over where it goes in this little deal. All right. See that? See that? One single French fry in there. Ah, that did look good. Mm. Yeah, it's fresh. I can't. Oh, it's gonna wait. Oh, it's good. I have no glue. Not I They do, they came out really good. Isaac, I don't know what you're worried about, dude. These biscuits look really good. Why don't you grab the... Uh, they look good. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you grab the salad out of there? Alright. Yeah. Slaw. Slaw it up. <laughs> really, uh... <laughs> dirty. Dirty dirt. John, these are looking better. Uh, yeah. Good. This thing's going to take a little bit longer. They do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can take pictures. Oh, yeah. So we have a picture from the last one. Probably a week from the last one. How much? $20! $20! Is that good? 
Jeremiah, I know you're trying to hold it, but if you can't hold it, you need to go to the other room. Deep practice for a one-night event. Computer? Yeah. Uh, uh, is it, is it Are you a baby? Is it still a baby? Yeah. Oh, guys, seriously. Yeah. 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 Yeah.